Good morning, Tri-Cities Kooks. This is Stephanie and Robin here at WCUTC TV, a brand new student news broadcast bringing the most important announcements to a screen near you. Today, we have a wonderful story of how all of this came to be. The mastermind behind WCUTC TV is Jeremy Garcia, a senior business major and career services student ambassador. Jeremy, how did this idea come to you? Hey, thanks, Robin. Yeah, so Christine, Cody, and myself were actually brainstorming for career services on how we could possibly extend our audience reach to, to reach more students. And so as we were sharing different experiences of when we went to school um, and, and when we currently go to school, we kind of just were sharing things and then it hit us, right, Christine? Exactly. Jeremy brought up the idea and I absolutely loved it. Kind of took me back to my middle school glory days uh, when I was a news anchor for my journalism class. So after that, I was sold. Well, I'm glad that this allowed you both to have a quick trip down memory lane. Um, so a couple questions for both of you regarding this. Uh, first off, where do you see this going and what might this segment look like in the future? Yeah, Robin, so I really hope that students can really take away um, more exposure and to be able to see uh, events that are happening on campus and to uh, be able to take part of more of events that we'll have in spring semester. I'll just add that we really want um, students to be able to take full advantage of resources and we wanna be mindful that technology fatigue is happening and that students are getting a lot of information through email. And so this is a fun, way that they can keep up to date by seeing and hearing information from their fellow peers. That is so true. And I just have to say, this does also remind me of my glory days in middle school as well, Christy. So the next question is, what segments are you most excited for? Well, I cannot wait for the joke of the day. Um, Steph, I'm sure you've got some good ones coming for us. And also the talent drop box just because I think it's gonna really connect um, us with the campus and with each other again. Yeah, I'd have to agree. We have some really great segments coming up, but I'm just excited for the whole experience and for students to just be able to uh, see what's going on on campus and take part of it. Uh, I'm most excited for the club corner that, and this will give us an opportunity to shout out and highlight um, our campus clubs and organizations that are continuing to do great work, even while we're virtual. Yes, agreed. All these segments really highlight the amazing people on our campus. I definitely am excited for that talent drop box. Can't wait to see what talent our kooks have. Um, but all right, thank you so much for joining us, Christine and Jeremy. It is always a pleasure talking to you, even virtually. Um, before we move on to our next topic, though, is there anything you'd like to shout out? You know, I always love to give a shout out to my rescue pup, Benny. And if I could hold him up right now, I would, but uh, the background's gonna prevent you from seeing him. But if anyone needs puppy therapy, you just give me a call on Zoom. Um, but other than that, um, just wanna remind students that we have a great series of events coming up for our ML MLK celebration um, the first week you all are back in January. So watch out for details on that. Yeah, and for me, I really just want to encourage students as a student to, to go out to more events and to try things out, especially with the virtual setting that we'll have and we're going into spring semester, uh, to really get involved with all these events, different clubs and organizations, and um, just to really get involved. Wise words. All right, thank you so much. Our next topic for the segment is going to be on MLK. Hey Kooks, today is MLK Day. MLK Day is the only federal holiday designated as a national day of service to encourage all Americans to volunteer to improve their communities. And this is in light to keep the legacy of the civil rights leader of the 1960s alive. It happens every third Monday of January and is in remembrance of his birth on January 15th. MLK fought for African American rights and equality, becoming the face of the civil rights movement. Listen further for events this week that will dive deeper into this era, the movement, and the man. A friendly reminder to all you kooks working for the university that we have switched to the Workday system and that timesheets and payroll now go through that Workday system. If you have any questions, please contact your supervisor. All right, next up is our Meet Your Student Leaders segment. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Duran. I'm a senior here at WC Tri-Cities and I'm a history major. I have the fortune of serving as an ASWCTC university senator, which means that I'm a senator here for every student at WC Tri-Cities. I've also been chosen as a Senate pro tem for this session by fellow senators. 
I've worked on some key advocacy projects over the course of this year, but at the Campus Sustainability Advocacy Project, which is aiming not only to make our campus more sustainable, but how to make our greater communities at large more sustainable. I've also participated on the Advising Advocacy Project, which is trying to pinpoint student concerns with advising and how to make it generally more accessible to students. Something about me is that I participated in three political campaigns, two I was a volunteer, another one I was an official worker. It's something I hope to do more in the future because I adore it oh so much. You can contact me on my email, M-I-C-H-E-A-L dot D-U-R-A-N at W-S-U dot E-D-U. I'd just like to take the rest of this time to remind everybody to properly social distance, wear your mask, because we cannot beat the COVID-19 virus unless if we all make a genuine effort. Go Cougs. Hi everyone, my name is Ana Cervantes. I am currently a senior here at WSU Tri Cities and so, so excited to finally be able to say that. I am a biology major, so I've had a fun couple of years. The position that I hold for ASWSU TC is University Senator. Some of the projects that I've been working on with my fellow teammates this past semester is on a mental health committee and on lactation rooms. I love working with my teammates, they are absolutely amazing, but I would really appreciate getting to hear from the students. Your guys' opinion is what matters most to us. I'm here to represent you guys. Um, so if you have any questions or thoughts you would like to share with me, shoot me an email and let's chat. Let's get to know each other. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, I definitely want to wish everyone a big good luck on this upcoming semester and let's finish this year strong. Thank you guys for watching. Last but not least, Cougs, we have a talent Dropbox to showcase all our amazing TC talents. From playing an instrument to Rubik's Cube um, solving and everything in between, we want it all. If you have a special talent you'd like to showcase, please submit a 30 second video to this email right here. Okay, and up next is our seven day week forecast. Hello, this is Christine. And Stephanie. And we're bringing you the seven day forecast detailing campus events in January. So grab your planner or cell phone or maybe a cup of coffee because we got a lot of details coming at you. First, we want to share about the MLK Celebration Series. Definitely check out the website for all the events. But our first keynote speaker is on January 21st, Bree Newsom Bass, who is an American filmmaker, musician, speaker, and activist from Charlotte, North Carolina. The very next day, we have another keynote Aisha Fukushima. She's a performance lecturer, justice strategist, singer-songwriter, and raptivist, and our very own Mosaic Center for Student Inclusion is co-sponsoring this event. Last but not least, we have Professor Bob Bauman on January 26th giving a talk on the Jim Crow policies in the Tri-Cities. You can find all of these details, including times, Zoom links, etc., at mlk.wsu.edu backslash mlk dash events. So be sure to go check that out for even more workshops and game nights. All right, and the next set of events are gonna be for the rec center. So the first event that's happening on January 19th is gonna be a virtual escape room and that is by appointment only. So make sure you sign up if you wanna get involved. The second set of events is going to be a 10 minute trivia session and a game night and that's happening on the 21st of January and we all need some we all need some you know mindful meditation every now and then and so the rec center is providing a mindful yoga session on the 22nd and then a mindful meditation center on the 25th. Throughout the next two weeks there's going to be a contest a photo contest um, that is through the 19th from the, to the 29th, and it's a joy photo concert. So if you wanna get involved, definitely follow the Rec Center on Coop Presence. And last but not least, our very own Student Engagement and Leadership Board is providing Coop Packs for spring semester. First on the calendar is the On Track Coop Pack. And I don't know if you're like me, but with the start of a new year, I love to get a planner multiple calendars, all the post-it notes, right? I got all my stuff, but you as a student can get an amazing pack at no cost to you. That includes a whiteboard calendar, dry erase markers, a journal, a 2021 planner, and a motivational poster. So if you're looking to be organized and to um, kick this semester off right, make sure that you sign up for the on track cook pack 
The virtual program is happening on January 27th, and you can find all the details on the sub website. And just as a rem reminder, we will add all the links in the broadcast description below. Now, here's Did You Know with Jose Mejia. Hi, how's it going? My name is Jose Mejia, Director of Legislative Affairs, bringing you today two segments for your viewing pleasure. We'll jump right into the first one, Coug Day at the Capitol. That's right. If you've been thinking about joining Coug Day at the Capitol, lobbying, talking to legislators from Olympia, well, now might just be your chance. We are finalizing the Coug Day application form and we will roll updates to your emails and into our social media platforms. So be sure to look for that. Coug Day at the Capitol is a great experience and something to definitely be part of. Our segment number two deals with Inauguration Day. That's right, as many as you may know, Inauguration Day is coming up very quickly. So today I will provide two fun facts. The first dealing with live television. Did you know that during President Truman's inauguration, it was completely covered by live television? That's right. The second fun fact I will share to you today deals with a simple photograph. Did you know that during James Buchanan, our 15th president inauguration day, he had his very first picture taken in which you can see the crowd, the Capitol and the president. My name is Jose Mejia and thank you for watching. All right, Cougs, here's our campus resources segment. This week, we are highlighting mental health services and Coug Presence, the new student engagement platform. Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is Sylvia at the Counseling Services for WC Tri-Cities. I'm the student wellness coordinator and student counselor. As you enter spring semester, we'd like for you to keep our services in mind. We are normally located on at Floyd 269K. However, because we are remote this semester, we will continue to offer telehealth appointments for all counseling and group services. We want to impress upon you to take care of yourself during these trying times, and we are here to support you in your goals. We have some wonderful wellness and counseling related services that offer you holistic and balanced approach to your mental health care and wellness needs. We will be offering yoga, meditation, and wellness talks throughout the semester, as well as self-help through our website. And we will be rolling out our virtual mind spa that everybody is welcome to check out on our website over the next few weeks. We will also be on Presence, and you can follow us through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram through that platform. As always, we'd love your feedback. Talk to us. Book with us. Let us know what you would like to see offered this year. And most importantly, have a great spring semester. Go Cougs! Hi all, it's me again. If you're listening to the broadcast in podcast form, check out our video on the Connected Cougs to check this out. But here's the meme of the day. Enjoy! I'm Robin Kovis. And I'm Stephanie Warner. And this has been WSUTC TV. <laughs>